that. Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Welcome to Wacky Worms. Got a great wacky worm for you today. It's the black swallowtail, Papilio polixenes. Great South Florida bug. Uh, we're gonna tell you all about this species here in the next couple minutes. But just want you to know, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Because if you subscribe to our channel, click the bell, you'll get notified every time we put out a new video. We're gonna teach you all about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Uh, now let's check out this black swallowtail, shall we? The eastern black swallowtail is a butterfly that's common throughout the entire United States. It's got a number of different subspecies and they go all the way down south through Central and South America and even in the Caribbean. The Papilio polixenes subspecies polixenes is actually uh, part of the Caribbean race and what we have in the eastern United States is Papilio polixenes asteria. Well, some believe down here in the southernmost areas of Broward and Dade counties, uh, subspecies Asteria and Polixenes kind of do some kind of cross. The black swallowtail is lives up to its name. It's a, a black, jet black uh, base coloration. Sexes are somewhat similar, a little bit different. Uh, both sexes have yellow spots that go down the four, uh, four wings and down into the hind wings. In the males, those yellow spots are bigger and deeper. Sometimes the spots are actually absent in the females, but they're definitely a lot smaller. Females are a little bit larger than the males, and on the hind wings, the females have this great big uh, patch of blue scaling down on the, on the bottom of the hind wings. Males have a little bit of blue scaling, but uh, not a whole lot, and actually sometimes that blue scaling is completely absent in the males. Underside, again, black with uh, yellow spots, and sometimes there's a really pretty uh, orangish red overscaling on some of the yellow spots. Beautiful bug, cool bug. Cream colored round eggs are laid on the leaves of the host plant of the Apiaceae family. Uh, the family is carrots. So uh, we have wild carrots down here in South Florida. Uh, things like in the parsley family, wild carrots. Uh, uh, you can go get some uh, dill at a local hardware store and plant that in your garden and you'll probably get black swallowtails at some point or another. Caterpillars are boldly colored with white, green, and black stripes, and there's yellow spots that are interrupting the black stripes. Uh, when the caterpillars get in the later instars, they start to have a little bit more of a greenish coloration. When they're small, they're a little bit more whitish and black with the yellow spots. Caterpillars have an osmeterium up by the upper thoracic region. This is an organ that is sub submerged into the thoracic region of the caterpillar but it will expel their osmeterium when threatened by a predator and it has a little bit of a foul odor and they try to deter a predator from eating them by this odor. When the caterpillar is ready to make its chrysalis, it will attach itself to um, a leaf or a stem or even a branch or something like that uh, by a silk pad and actually will have a little girdle there and it hangs from that. And the, the pupa has two color forms, a green form and a brown form. And it all depends on the, the texture of the substrate on which it pupates. So if it pupates on a rough texture, such as a, like a branch, a tree branch, a bark of a tree, uh, the pupa will actually come out brown and camouflage nicely with its background. But if the, if the chrysalis is on a smooth substrate, like the leaf of a, of a tree or a stem, which is really smooth, it will come out green and will camouflage in with that background. Chrysalis will emerge within two to three weeks, uh, but will also overwinter if it's cold and can take months to emerge. Uh, there are usually several generations throughout the year. Down here in South Florida, uh, we typically see black swallowtails most commonly in the spring months when the wild carrot starts to pop up 
on the sides of the roads and in the in the wet areas and the freshwater swampy areas down here in South Florida. Down in South Florida, you don't typically see a whole lot of black swallowtails unless you have the right plants in your garden. If you want a garden for them, it's, it's pretty easy. You just go get some parsley, dill, or fennel from the local uh, plant store and put them in your herb garden. And it won't be long before you have black swallowtails. They'll take a variety of different nectar sources. They love pentas, they love lantanas, uh, firebush. They'll take all these as uh, nectar sources. You can put those in your garden as well. It's a great butterfly down here in South Florida. Again, not that common. Um, they can be a little bit common during the springtime in the right habitat, out in the Everglades and, and uh, swampy areas. Uh, they've been reported from certain keys, down the Florida Keys, but probably not breeding down there since the host plants are not growing down there. But guys, that's all the time we have for today. We love black swallowtails, we love gardening for them, and we sure love going out and finding their caterpillars in the springtime. I uh, hope you subscribe to our channel, that would be great. Join our Keys Moths family, we have a great website. It's www.keysmoths.com. Got all of the moths and butterflies of the Florida Keys catalog there in photographs and of all the life cycles and so on. Hope you check that out. Enjoy that. Uh, hope to see you next time. Check out our next video. Um, until then, get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.